Hey guys, what's happening? So, I've been thinking about this for a while, and I, mean, I guess I'll be the guinea pig here, but I want to upgrade my Mach 3 systems to uh, Windows 11 23H2. Um, I'm currently running 21H2, and uh, but I have three CNC machines running, uh, you know, um, Mach 3. Um, but I'll go through each of those individually. Um, but I'm going to start off with this round call mill conversion here. Um, so this was uh, my first CNC mill that I converted. I think I originally paid five hundred dollars an offer up for this thing. Yeah, you know, it's running closed loop uh, drivers. So actually, I designed this thing for fifth, fifth axis, and I also have the CNC indexer right here that I converted. Um, but I made a video about the uh, indexer stuff that I bought on offer up. Um, let me quick, quick, quick uh, show the hardware. So I'm running a smooth stepper on this one. Uh, I'm running the CX twenty five XP board. Um, for CNC for my PC or for I can't remember CNC for PC. So I'm running five drivers back there, um, so I can control fifth axis. Yeah, just run you know basic Mach three stuff. I made videos about this when I did this one, but so basically all the wires are feed up to this computer, and on this computer I have a Vista CNC pull mount here. My um, so that's actually another thing I got to test. I got to make sure this works with Windows 11 H23 H2 as well. Running right the um, Controller here, the uh, Xbox controller, wireless keyboard, Logitech. All this stuff is on my Thingiverse page, all these pull mounts if you want it. Uh, even the even the monitor mount. Ooh, which is cracking here. Okay, look at that. Um, I think I bought this computer on offer up for like 100 bucks or 80 bucks. So, um, so this is actually the only official computer that I have that actually can officially support Windows 11. So I'm running the TPM 2.0 or Trusted Flat Platform Module 2.0. Let me just show you this computer. It's uh, if you can see that. So, do about here. It's I'm running um, Windows 11 Pro 23H2 and uh, 16 gig of RAM, and I have a solitaire drive in there. I don't think it's not M2. I think it's just 2.5 uh, SATA uh, SSD. So, in theory, I've, I mean, it's, it's kind of questionable, but I, I most as long as you have TPM 2.0 and uh, a, you know a 7 gen Intel processor, it will support um, Windows 11 out of the box. But it's hit or miss. So every hard, every this this was the only one that I actually had. I could install it. And it didn't even give me a warning. But the other ones I had to go through like the bootlegs and cracks. Um, so I wanted to try 23H2 and see if Mach 3 works. So this is probably my least used uh, machine that I use. I, I use a CNC router a lot more. And then I really, eh, I guess I don't really use that much very much, but let me go, I'll go do a quick show through the machines and show you what I got going here. Oh yeah, these are all actually uh, all touch screens. So like I said, or on the round call mill back there, it's an actual all-in-one computer and a touch screen. So two of my machines are running all-in-one computers, touch screens. So I think this is a, this is a Dell, it's a Core i7 third gen. and. Um, I actually have a thing where I can actually take the because if this is CNC pennant was so much the the MPG I, I just swap them back when I need them so I just have one and I swap them back but the same thing pretty much exactly the same just a different computer so that's Core i7 same thing Salsa drive 16 gig of RAM but yeah this is this is not officially ver, uh, supported Windows 11 so it's kind of been uh, cracked I've, I've done that video this one's running the smooth stepper and with the Drivers. This one actually has a fourth axis too, and uh, that's a smooth stepper board with the because a C eighty two board. All right, and uh, the Sugami lathe conversion. Still kind of working on this one. It's a touch screen, but the computer's inside. So this was actually the first one I ever converted. This lathe here. Um, and I'm actually running a pretty cool screen set too. Right, clean it. Um, but this actually one just runs basically a computer inside here. And I'll move this chair out of the So this one basically it's a, it runs a computer. So I have a little small Dell, not Dell, uh, HP computer in there. I think it's like a 800G3 or something like that. But this actually one's not running actually like a smooth stepper, uh, like a Warp 9 smooth stepper. This is, this, they called this a. Uh, 
forget the name. I made another videos about this one, but it's it's actually a, a smooth type because it has like a dedicated processor, but it's not like your typical like cheapo, you know, has an Altera Flex chip on it. So it more closely resembles the smooth stepper. Um, and actually, it's been working great. It's, it's USB, so the other ones are Ethernet. This one's USB. So my um, the other ones I'm gonna run a crack version of uh, a, a version I've already modified. Um, I work in IT for a living, so I'm familiar with like, cracking these things. Um, so, what's interesting about Mach 3, from what I can tell, uh, is that it looks like it was written in Visual Basic 6. Because I know all the programming is, is, is Visual Basic. Um, like all the VB scripting. Um, I was actually a VB, well, Visual Basic programmer 20 years ago. So, in the early 2000s, late 90s. So I was really familiar with that. I wrote a lot of programs in Visual Basic 6. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go and copy over my uh, files and we'll do an upgrade and we'll see if this works. Okay, so here are my ISO files. I already have, because this is actually officially supported, I don't have to run my modified crack version. So on the other ones, they aren't really officially supported in Windows 11, like the hardware's not officially supported. Um, so I think they have like Trusted Platform Module 1.2. Um, I have my modified version there, so on those other ones I'm just going to copy the folder over. So you have to like basically unpack the folder, modify a couple files, and kind of trick it into not you know, bypassing hardware checks. Alright, so this is just going to be an upgrade, so I don't have to reinstall. I'm not going to go from scratch. Alright, so dismounted the CD, um, or the ISO, and I want to hunt. No, actually I don't want to, actually, no, I don't want to do that, I want to make it better. Um, next. All right, so I'm gonna come back when it's done with this. You know, as a precaution, you guys should back up your, uh, I'm gonna back this up to my file server in case I gotta do a reinstall. Back up the configuration. All right, that's interesting. I didn't get this warning before. So maybe this is a 23H2 issue. This processor is in support of this version of Windows. So I guess I'm gonna have to do my crack version uh, that basically bypasses this hardware support page here. Um, yeah, I don't remember that when I installed it because I didn't install a crack version of the software. You know, you only need to run this crack version on, on the folder I have here only when you're upgrading. Um, but if you're doing a fresh installation, you can just use Rufus to bypass the TPM, um, trust a platform module check. Um, but if you're trying to try to upgrade and preserve your settings, you have to like modify like a <coughs> like a hardware check file. You know, I could upgrade a Mach 4, but uh, I really like Mach 3, and especially with uh, Physics Anonymous, that screens that they made, it really makes me want to keep it because it's very simple, you know, and I'm really familiar with it. So, um, like I said, I could do Linux CNC, I guess, but I don't have to buy all new control boards. Uh, Mach 4, I, from, I mean, I've actually messed with it for a little bit, but it's, I didn't really like it, so I just got pretty bugged with it. But, all right, so the only difference is, I'm not going to show you how to crack a Windows 11, but there's tons of videos online how to do it, so... All right, except so basically I'm just going to be doing an upgrade. All right, install Windows Pro, keep personal files and apps, install. All right, so we'll see if I made a big mistake in about 10, 15 minutes. All right, here we go. File loop, no, accept. All right, let's see. Um, this is the first boot up. All right, still booting. Um, actually, I'm gonna run the the utility, the smooth server utility, just and see what's. Um, start easy configuration. Go into advanced modes. Okay, that's the smooth stepper. Up. Okay. Yeah, this is a dual. Oh, I mean, yeah, I have a I have a wireless card. And I also have that, uh, obviously it's a direct uh, straight to the back of the motherboard. We're back in the main Ethernet port. Alright. Okay, that should be fine. Nothing changed in the firewall config. Okay. Alright. Let's so run Mach 3. Mach 3 mil. Okay, load more 9. Okay, stop. Alright, let's see if my little um, thing works here. Oh, I hit the wrong button. 
All right, let's see this thing. All right, Z works. I should probably see if my touch screen works. All right, next I'm gonna reference Z. Okay, help me in Z. Do that here, I'm trying to control this like this. All right. So I know my Xbox plugin works. All that works. Let's see if my diagnostics touchscreen works. Alright, my fan comes on, so I have a dual setup. I have coolant and air. Alright, that should work too. So those are controlled by that uh, those, uh, solid state relays right there. Alright. Alright, let's see if the uh, let's see if the spindle works. Um, let's see, set RPM. Let's just do 500. Okay. Looking good. I don't have my probe connected. Um, all right, man. All right, cool. Let's see about. Let's double check. Make sure 23H2 is actually on there. All right, 23H2. And let's make sure it's active. On a key activation. Okay, we're in active state. All right, cool. Um, all right, man. So I gotta go back. Uh, it's Fourth of July weekend. Gotta go back. I'm gonna do the same thing for my CNC router and CNC lathe. All right, guys. Cool. Um, so awesome. It works. If you're wondering, 23H2 works. All right, awesome.